Hey everybody, Adam Savage in my cave with some space glove goodness. Hi, hi. Um, I have here a pair of really, really beautiful A7L glove interiors reproductions made by Ryan Nagata. Um, right and left, he made these for me years ago, years ago, like a, more than a decade ago, I think. Um, and he used a very soft uh, urethane for this interior liner. Uh, and he also has a cotton glove interior. And I can't put these gloves on anymore because the cotton, it's, it's not working. And also, I've had a little deterioration here out of the tip. Ryan actually, I didn't know that deterioration was happening. Ryan texted me a couple of years ago and he was like, hey, are the fingertips on your, uh, these gloves deteriorating? And I was like, I, I, I don't know. And I went and looked and they were. And then, I managed to pick up a pair of these on eBay. Now these are made by my acquaintance uh, and colleague, Chris Gilman, who runs Global Effects. Uh, he is on the RPF as Imgill, I-M-G-I-L-L, -L, and he is on uh, uh, eBay as Orbital Outfitters. Um, and occasionally, and Chris has made most of the spacesuits you've seen in the world that were not made by my friends in London. He does like, First Man and Ad Astra and everything from Apollo 13 on down. Um, he's also an armor nut like me. Um, but Chris occasionally makes parts of his collection available on eBay. Uh, and I bought a pair of these urethane glove interiors from him on eBay. And these are exactly what I need to replace these. So I am going to go through the exercise of swapping out the interiors um, and much of the mechanics of this to fit the new gloves, if I can make that work. So first and foremost, I think the trick is here to um, dismantle dismantle these guys. And there is a Velcro holding them together down here. Ryan always makes his pieces very um, undoable if you want to rejigger some of the parameters. Oh, this is awesome. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, that was exactly as easy as I was hoping it would end up being. All right, let's pull the other one. One of the differences between regular Velcro and the Velcro NASA uses is that regular Velcro has an amorphous sewing pattern and NASA Velcro is um, buttoned up and down. And um, even where one does not see it, Ryan Nagata uses the NASA Velcro. And by the way, check out, oh yeah, the label there. So good. Ryan always includes the word repro, so no one tries to pass this off as an original piece, which is, I think, for Ryan, genuinely an occupational hazard. All right. Ooh, oh, all right. Okay. A little dryer hose to create body. I love it. Okay, we're going to put these over here. These are also just Velcro in. Oh, that's lovely. Okay. And these. Oh, I see a little gluing went on there. Okay. I might still be able to use these. Right, because 
that would go in there. And that would... See, I actually have trouble getting my hands all the way to the ends of there. So maybe I don't use these at all. It just goes all the way into there. And you can feel that. I'm going to toss these. And I'm going to keep these because they could be useful. But uh, the interior there. Oh, yeah, I do want to. Actually, you know what? Let me see if I have metal versions of these. All right, I do not have better versions of these. So I'll let that go, um, but I do like the, let's just see if I can get this. Let's go this way first. This is just, I'm so happy to be crossing this off my list. It's been a long time that I bought these. Oh, these are gorgeous. And this is what's underneath the blue fingers of an Apollo glove. That's what's going on inside there. There's all this extra like holding down and stuff. These are the interiors, man. All right, uh, all right, I want to take out that business. Dude, barely any 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 work really necessary here. It's just a nice, fast taking care of one of my line items. what happens when your friends make modular space shit. It's so awesome. More space gloves for the space glove collection. Yeah, look at you, handsome lads. Um, I'm really pleased. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I know that was like a super, super short build. Build is barely even, it's almost like, yeah, a, a shorter word is needed than build. Less than one syllable for what just happened. But I can't even tell you how long I've been wanting to take that line item off my list and we just did it. Like a little 10, 12 minute, maybe six, seven minute. Maybe we'll put this as part of another video. We don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, thank you for joining me for this Space Glove Collection edition. Uh, I think this is the first time I have combined Nagata and Gilman parts on the same piece. Uh, they know each other, as we all know each other in this industry. Um, thank you all for joining me for these space glove build. I'll see you next time. I thought you might like to see some of the gloves in my spacesuit glove collection. Many of these were made by Linda Guaris. Uh, these were made by Ryan Nagata. 
These are also Linda, and now these are Nagata and Gilman. Oh, yeah. This isn't even all of them. I love seeing so many of the same thing in one place at one time. Yeah, this is the next one. I got to get some wrist rings for these puppies. 